guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of the Fishing Teacher, and I really appreciate you guys uh, making some time to watch the video. Today we're going to be talking about the Ned Rig. I'm sort of trying to start off the channel here talking about some of the techniques that are really easy for people to catch fish on that are just starting out fishing. And the Ned Rig is one of those deals. It's one of the most highly effective techniques and lures to catch a lot of fish on. And I'm going to show you guys how to rig it up, explain a little bit about how to fish it and how to build you one. It's really simple to do, so let's get into it. So first of all, what you gotta do is you gotta get you some Ned Rig hooks. Now, you can go about in any tackle store and just ask them for a Ned Rig hook. Um, it's sort of like, it's got sort of a mushroom type head on it, a flat head, small hook on it. So it's almost looks like a little crappie jig hook, but just get you a Ned head. And I like the 1 16th ounce. The 16th of an ounce is the size that's my favorite. It falls really good and it just works really good. The next thing you need to do is um, they make a Ned Rig, a special Ned Rig lure, but I like to make my own. Now this is a Zoom Zlinky soft plastic stick bait. And what I've done here is I've just cut off about an inch and a half of it, maybe an inch, inch and a half, like that. It's all you want, like an inch and a half. And it's really simple. All you do uh, is take the hook and go right through the middle of it. And you wanna come out the top and uh, very, very simple to do, just like that. I mean, it looks like a little grub worm or something in there. See that little deal right there? Guys, this right here is, it's probably caught more bass the last five years than any lure out there. It's not like a, a big fish lure, but you can catch a lot of fish on it. And if you fish for smallmouth, you can catch big smallmouth on it. Big smallmouth will hit this, but if you're fishing for other species, um, just gets a lot of bites. You know, it doesn't matter if you're fishing for bass or walleye or perch or whatever, that Ned Rig is really, really a fish catcher. And I like to sort of stay uh, like with any type of green pumpkin or watermelon color. It seems to work pretty good with that. Now, another thing with this, um, one thing about a Ned Rig, it's pretty much designed for more clear water application. So you need to have like water visibility in the lake or creek. Uh, that's another thing about the Ned Rig. If you guys wade creeks, this is like killer for rock bass, goggle eye, smallmouth, if you're wading creeks. But you need to have like um, at least three foot of visibility because you, you can catch them in a little bit less than three feet. But for the most part, this bait works really good in more clear water applications. Um, I fish it on a spinning reel with a six, four pound or six pound test line. You want to use really light line. This is a finesse technique. And basically just fish it slow on the bottom. You just cast it out there wherever you're fishing on a point, down a rocky bank or whatever, and just, just sort of twitch it along the bottom. It's just I usually just throw it out there and just sort of just sort of twitch it. Don't really hop it or don't really just pull it, but just shake your rod like that a little bit. And all of a sudden, you know, your line will get spongy and you'll see your line swimming out, and one has it with that. But Anyway, guys, just a great fish catcher for people that don't fish much. If you if you want to go out and just get some bites and you want a high percentage lure, the Ned Rig is going to be one of the top of your list. So give it a try. I think it's going to add up to some fish for you guys, and we'll tune in later. Talk later. See you.